Okay. So, this morning we're going to be doing a fuel pressure test. This is on a 2004 Ford Escape. Now, ah, I can't hear it. The vehicle will not run. You turn the key on, I cannot hear the fuel pump run. So, presumably, it has a issue with the fuel pump. But, in order to confirm that, I need to run a fuel pressure test to see if it to see if we have any fuel pressure and maybe I just can't hear it. So to do that, some vehicles have a fuel pressure test port. And this one does not. But in a in the fuel in a fuel pressure tester, a fuel pressure test kit. I have an adapter that allows me to connect my fuel pressure gauge in between, oh, heaven's sakes, this section of fuel line. If I can, there we go. You gotta pop that clip up to get it to release. There we go. And you can slide it off. Now, way this works oh and we're peeing from the engine side got this adapter this end goes on to pull that up out of the way this end goes on to the fuel line from the tank like that this end connects into the fuel line to the engine lock that on then we can hook up our pressure gauge there and grab the wrong hose there's the quick connect in you just hook your quick connect up there then we'll take our pressure gauge and it has a quick connect on the bottom of it as well I hook it up right there just like that and then I'm going to turn you so you can see all this can on this particular vehicle this is your fuel pump relay now you can do the same test just by turning the key on and off this is the fan relay I unplugged it because the fan wants to run constantly We have these nice switchable relays. We can replace that with. So I'm going to turn the key on. Then I'm going to put. And as you can see, I put power to it. I have nothing. Now, crap. I'm going to stick the fuel pump relay back in. There should be an audible click as it comes on. You hear it click, it's trying to turn itself on, so I have power to the relay. But I still have no fuel pressure. So, Quick and simple way to run a fuel pressure test. This just happens to be an 04 escape. The principle is the same for any vehicle. The connection point is the only difference. Um, some of the GMs you have to connect the fuel pressure tester down 
where the fuel filter is on the frame, you have to take it out and put an adapter piece in and place the fuel filter um, or connect it to the fuel filter. Every vehicle is a little bit different, uh, but here again, the fuel, pre a fuel, any basic fuel pressure test kit, you can rent as a loan of tool from any auto parts store. And with a little bit of knowledge, you can diagnose a problem like this yourself and possibly either one, save yourself the repair bill or two, um, save yourself at least take it to the repair shop knowing what's wrong with it so here again simple way to dig to test the fuel pump now when you're done you just simply disconnect your quick connect Make sure your key is turned off. And in this case, on this Ford, there's two small tabs on the underside of that fuel line right here. The white tabs, you squeeze them in and push toward the top. And that slides the locking pin out. And then you can slide the fuel line off. And then Roughly the same procedure with this. Only this one, uh, you push in the release on the on the fuel pressure tester. It comes out. Plug the lines back together. Lock it in place. That's all there is to it. That's how you do a fuel pressure test. And you can also use a fuel pressure test to diagnose. Oh, make. To see if you have possibly a weak fuel pump, <clears throat> you have a running issue. You may be getting an, you may be getting fuel, but just not enough fuel, or not at a high enough pressure, or oh, to possibly diagnose fuel pressure regulator issues. Um, there's a lot of things that a fuel pressure test can be used for, but that's how you do it, guys. So please give video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty.